Yo, what's going on YouTube? Sid the Menace here. So I have a few things that I want to talk about today in this video, and that is going to be PvP for Lost Ark. More specifically, how does the PvP work? Because a lot of people have noticed that I'm slowly climbing up the ranks. I have been grinding out some PvP. I'm not the best PvPer in the world. However, if we look, I am Supreme 5. I'm getting close to uh, Extreme. I'm trying to get extra mats, yada, yada, yada. But people were kind of questioning, like, what do you do to rank up? Where do you where do you get these levels and everything like that? And I'm here to tell you the process of leveling in PvP, your rank, and how to get more, more mats. So the first thing that you want to look at is actually going to be what I think is the most important, is your PvP info. So if this tab right here is unavailable to you, so if you press Escape, and you see this PvP info, and this is grayed out to you, you have not grinded enough PvP yet to go from the grades that you're at or the limits that you're at into the ultra setting. So you start out at a mode that it's it's kind of like you need to get your feet wet. You have to play some games and grind out quite a bit before you hit ultra one. And ultra one is, I'll show you right here, all the way right here. This is when you unlock the ability to start climbing in the PvP ranks. Now, from my understanding of this is the more you PvP, the more experience, the more points you get. Those points translate into experience. That experience comes to you at every weekly reset. So no matter how much experience you gain throughout the week, it doesn't get delivered until reset. Now, to go a little bit deeper into this because it gets a little hectic. I'll try to I'll try to slow down just ever so slightly so we know where we're going. I'm going to try to go by one thing at a time and explain it. The first thing is your current XP. So when you hit Ultra 1 and when you're climbing up in the ranks, you'll be gaining XP. Of course, every week, that's how much you gain. This is where you will see that. 158,000 is my current experience. Um, if you look over here, you can see that these each gain right here has a required experience. Each Each tier has a required experience that you must hit to get into that into that tier. So since I have 158,000, we can see right here 151,000 is to reach Supreme 5 and 183,000 is to reach Supreme 6. So I'm since I'm in between those two, I'm in Supreme 5. The same thing would happen down here. So say you reach 26, so say you get 3,000 experience uh, for one week of PvPing. You would be in Ultra 2. All right. Now, the question you will pro you're probably asking is, well, how do I gain experience? Like, where does that experience come from? It comes from weekly resets. And those weekly resets is the how much experience you get is dependent on how many points you get, how many tier points for the week, and how many points that compares to everyone else. I've gotten about 1,614 points. When you're here, you can see how many points each PvP activity gives. You don't have to play ranked PvP in order to get points. Any team deathmatch, normal team deathmatch, uh, regular deathmatch, team elimination, competitive, this is your ranked play. And co-op battles all give points. Co-op battles actually give the most. If you look at 435 points a win, 247 a defeat. Even a defeat is more points than a win in any other PvP mode. So if you ever see co-op battle, I recommend doing it if you're going for those points. Now, you don't have to do rank to get these points. You Now, rank gives more points, but you don't need to do rank to get these points. The more points you get, you get put into a percentile. Depending on however many people are p PvPing, you're going to have to put those points against other people. Whatever your percentile is, as you can see here, I'm just going to say I'm the top 50%. That is the experience you're going to get. So when you click this button right here, this plus sign, which is our next one. We went from current XP, now we're getting our weekly XP. This is the one how much you would get in your current uh, percentile. So in my per my current tier with these points, I'm in the top 50%. So from 40 to 50%, we see we get 15,276 points of experience. 
boom, they match up, right? Here, you'll, you're going to see the third one is tier maintenance cost. After every weekly reset, you're going to have points subtracted from your total experience. So you, for you to keep all of those benefits that you get from grinding the player versus player, you need to at least play a little bit every week, right? That's, that's the way they get you. You have to continue playing a certain amount to find that threshold. For me, if I know it's 17,703 experience, to keep where I'm at, I have to make at least that. If I did that, I just look here into the 30, 40 percent percentile, we see 18,000 experience. With very little more effort, I've only played four or five battles. Hypothetically, if I do four or five more, I could probably get into the uh, 40 percentile and lose no, ex actually gain experience for the week. So just know if you want to sustain, it's not that many battles. If you want to climb, that's when it starts to become a lot of battles. But you get rewarded handsomely. Now we're going to see what it means to level up this bottom part right here, right? So this bottom part shows you your current tier and you get just a reminder, the more you go up in these tiers, the more coins you get every uh, weekly reset as well. You get rewarded for being in a certain tier. You get to spend these on more mats. I can show you the mat vendor here in just a second. This is your current tier. This one is the tier that you will be after the next weekly reset if you keep your current score. So if I were to keep my current score of the top 50%, 40 to 50%, this experience, this is how much my final XP will be for the week, and this is what tier I would be in, which thankfully is still Supreme 5. If you see a different experience right here or a different tag, Let's say uh, I see 183,000 experience right here or 124,000 experience. That implies I'm being promoted or demoted respectively. So that is something to look forward to. This is your, this is your shortcut kind of deal. This is to see everything really fast. Um, but again, if you click these extra buttons right here, plus and view all, you can get more of that information and kind of see where it's pulling it from. Now, the more you do this, the more you go up, and I want to say the PvP grind is actually necessary, the more you do this, the more rewards you get. And you'll see exactly what I'm reaching for. One of them is the upgraded version of this crest. This crest right here is very important because when guild versus guild activities start to trickle into the game more and more, this crest gives you open world benefits. Like, damage for froze is uh, reduced. Um, another one is adding haste effects when you're attacked. Movement speed and kill, uh, skill cooldown. Um, time, or sorry, the time it takes for you to stand back up after you're knocked down gets reduced. Those kind of things help a lot. The great thing uh, that I understand is once you grind up to those levels to get this crest... You don't have to do it again. So even if you never player versus player it again, you don't care about the mats anymore. If you at least get this crest, you're done. To get this crest, you first go to the PvP vendor. Now, their PvP vendor is in every major city. It's usually next to the Proving Ground boards. Here in Punica, it is uh, Nanya, the Exchange Proving Grounds craft emblem. Going here, the first, uh, the first page you're going to see is called Exchange. When you reach Supreme 1, not when you reach Ultra 1, but when you reach Supreme 1, that's when you're going to get your first crest. And it's very cheap. You buy it, you're done. And you can see that it's roster limit, and I bought it, I can't get it again. Now, for each upgrade after that, like you can keep upgrading the crest, right? Supreme 2, you get the purple upgrade. Supreme 4, you get the legendary upgrade. And at Supreme 7, you get the relic upgrade. You'll never have to get these again, and that will increase your that will increase your crest here, which is really important. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Now, if you want to continue with PvPing, if you have some extra time, here are some of the rewards that you can get for doing it that a lot of people I think kind of don't notice, don't think about. It's one way that I use to catch up to a lot of people. I was a month behind. And so this is a way that I, I started getting real close to 1415 near Walton. 
uh, without without having to do much else. Uh, you you see here, depending on your level, Ultra One unlocks the first tier of mats that you can buy. Now, how this works is one stack of each. You'll see here is Ultra One for Destruction Stones Tier One for uh, Leap Stones. Everything like that, that is all Ultra 1, all the way up to Tier 3. You can buy Guardian Stones, Destruction Stones, Honor Leap Stones, even Great Honor Leap Stones, just by reaching Ultra 1. Now, it's not many. For reaching Ultra 1, you can get about 7 Great Honor Leap Stones a week. If you know Honing, that's not even, a, that's not even one click. You know, that's a, that's a nice amount, but that's not even a click. However, the more that you go up in your levels to then uh, Supreme 4, Supreme 6, and Supreme 8, you unlock more options to buy more mats. So you can go from just 7 to 14 to 21 to 28 extra great honors a week. You can also buy Solar Graces, Solar Blessings, Solar Protections. Uh, you got your Shards, your Destruction Stones, your Guardian Stones. Don't forget about those. You got some extra cool little things here on the side in your Honor Rewards you should look for uh, in the future if you ever have time. But one big thing I highly recommend, highly, highly recommend, is getting these Combat Potions. Now, these are huge. If you PvP a little bit every week and you can store up the coins, you see I screwed up. I didn't store up enough and I have to actually grind. I'm going to buy one now. These XP potions help a lot. I jettison from lower, like level 54 to 56 by buying these potions and they're still helping me every week. This is why PvP is very, very crucial to continue to do. Even if you don't want the mats, these combat potions will work for you until you hit level 60. Even after when you're trying to get your alts up as well. So, I highly recommend it. This is me showing everyone just a quick explanation of how PvP works, how the PvP system works. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. I'd love to answer them. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, share it to your friends. And I hope you have a great time in Arcasia. Have a great one, guys. Peace out.